Galaga is a timeless classic. You don't need me to tell you that. But is this thing a viable way to play it? What's up everybody, it's your boy MC Murr here. Today we're looking at the Galaga joystick player from My Arcade. And I want to thank our friends at My Arcade for giving us the opportunity to take a look at this thing right here on the show. So first off, the packaging is attractive and it suggests we will see a line of these things release and not just this one. It's essentially a My Arcade mini cabinet with a flight stick extension, which means we're potentially getting control on this device that will allow us to actually play a solid game of Galaga and not just a game from a novelty perspective. This thing boasts a nice 3.2 inch display versus the 2.75 inch display on the original My Arcades. So in theory, this should be a nice ride for some Galaga. Not much to unbox here other than the unit itself an instruction leaflet and a brochure, but look at this thing, it's cool looking. It kind of harkens back to the collectible Coleco tabletop units from way back in the day. Now, before we even get into the other amenities here, I gotta move the joystick around and look, we've got proper resistance and clicky action, the likes of which I honestly didn't expect on a little unit like this one, it's tight. This thing accepts AA batteries, but you can also plug it in for longer sessions with a USB-C ended cord and a five volt one amp power supply. Four buttons on deck for returning to the home menu, adding credits, and one or two player selection. On the back, you have these plus and minus buttons that adjust the volume. And next to the power supply port, this white button adjusts the screen backlight, which has three total settings. So all in all, this thing has a quality feel to it, along with a quality look. The side art looks really cool on it. You know, at a baseline, it's shelf candy, right? But we gotta see how it handles, so let's get to it. I'm opting to use the power supply, so I'm gonna get it plugged up, and we're gonna test drive this thing. Peeling off the screen protector, and here we go. The sound is decent on this thing, and at the menu, we see the game selection option. Both Galaga and Galaxian are on this unit. Two games on this thing that go hand in hand. This thing sounds off like it has a pair, and you love to see that. Nice full sound for such a small unit, not a compressed lower quality version. Now I'm far from the best Galaga player out there despite decades of having enjoyed this game, but I'm having no difficulty playing this. It feels right. And you don't expect to have the game of your life on a thing like this, and honestly you still may not. There's a certain amount of novelty the feel has to have to it in a format like this, but I have to say this is a lot better than I was expecting. But before we can give this version a true passing grade, we have to put it up against a real arcade version of Galaga and make sure there are no inconsistencies with the timing. You can't go for a true high score if there is. I compared the versions side by side and as you can see here, they are definitely in sync. So good looks on that. That's another issue you can definitely expect the possibility of on things like this, but it's not an issue here. Again, you get Galaxian as well as Galaga, and it's exactly what you'd expect. I mean, it's cool that you get two games on the unit, and it begs the question, what other games could we see tag up on units like this in the future? And knowing that my arcade is always listening to their fan base, what games would you like to see come out on these? Comment below because you know that I like getting a conversation going with you. So let's look again at the pros. This thing plugs in with a power supply for extended play. You get two games in one, which helps justify the price point. And you got a quality joystick, the single most important thing. It's actually playable, but it's not perfect. This unit doesn't appear to save high scores once it's turned off, which is a bummer. That's something I'd like to see future units do, considering the price point, which segues us into the price point. This unit retails for around $50, which doesn't sound too high when you consider the regular My Arcade units come in around 35 to 40 bucks, but depending on how many of these come out, collecting the entire set could end up somewhat pricey. 
And if you already have viable options to play these games, then this has to be worth it to you for shelf candy alone. But it is that, right? It's cool looking. And many arcade products in the market sell for as high as 150 bucks these days, all but confirming there is a market for these. You know, in closing, this thing presents itself really well. And it does a lot more right than it does wrong, right? And given its stature, it's very playable. I gotta say, it exceeded my expectations in all almost every department. If you enjoyed this review, I hope you're going to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And if you'd like to see another video featuring cool products from my arcade, click right here and keep the action going right now. See you in the next video.